Mathematics Review. Before we go to our review and answer the questions that I have prepared for you, let's read vocabulary. Please repeat after me. First word, instrument. Instrument. Instrument in Thai is? Good. Again, one more time. Now, we're good to go. Next word is? Perimeter. Perimeter. Perimeter in Thai is? One more time. Good. Next word is measure. Measure. Measure in Thai is? One more time. Okay, very good. This is measure. Number one. This is my question for you. This is These questions are all from the topic that we have. Measurement, the topic of measurement. Number one, what would be the best measuring instrument? So I will show you the picture and then you're going to answer me if what is the best measuring instrument. So I am asking about the instrument. Again, let's recall what are those instruments that we have talked about. Yes, the instruments for length are four. They are four. We have, yes, we have tape measure. What else? Retractable tape. The other two? Yes, the two meter folding tape. And the last one is the very common, the school ruler. Now, let's answer number one. So we are looking for the width of a box width of a gift box so this is the picture of a gift box that we're going to measure now the question is what is the best measuring instrument for this gift box do you remember remember that we are measuring the width how how thick is it the width yes you're correct so in measuring the width of a gift box, it is not long, it is just a short distance. So we will be using the very common instrument which is the school ruler. And we are going to use centimeter. We are using school ruler units centimeter or cm. Now let's have number two. What would be the best measuring instrument? What would be the best measuring instrument for length of a skirt? Length of a skirt. We are talking about the skirt, the length. So this is the length. This is what we are going to measure, the length of a skirt. So because it is a cloth, so what do we need? Do we, are we going to use school ruler, retractable tape, or two meter folding tape, or tape measure? Who are using the tape measures? Yes, the tailors are using the tape measures. So they, uh, the tailors are making clothes. So it means to say that we are going to use, yes, you're correct. In measuring the length of a skirt, we use tape measure. The unit is cm or centimeter. Number three, what would be the best measuring instrument for height of a wardrobe? And this is the wardrobe that we are going to measure. So the height, the height of a wardrobe. Height, how tall? something is how tall is it so what is the best measuring instrument for a wardrobe the answer is yes your answer is correct it is retractable tape retractable tape is used by the carpenter the carpenter 
is the one that makes wardrobe. And we will use the unit M or meter. Number four, what would be the best measuring instrument for E, thickness of a book. Thickness of a book. So this is the book. And we will be measuring the thickness. This is what we are talking about. This is what thickness is. Yes, your answer is correct. The answer is school ruler. School ruler is the best instrument for measuring thickness of a book. The unit is centimeter or cm. Number five, what would be the best measuring instrument for? Distance from your desk to the blackboard. So we have here the desk and a blackboard. So we are going to measure the distance. So it's not the desk nor the blackboard that we're going to, to measure. It's the distance. So because we are measuring the distance, what are we going to use? We are going to... Yes, you're correct. The answer is 2 meter folding ruler tape. And the unit is meter. So that is 2 meter folding ruler tape. And those are for our measuring instruments. Now we will go into review perimeter. Perimeter. Now let's define first what is perimeter. Let's review. The perimeter is the distance around an object. So we are going to measure the distance of the square. So we are going to measure the width up and down and the height, left and right, with the use of school ruler. Perfect. With the use of school ruler, we will going to get the perimeter. So let's start. We have four centimeter. The width in the up side is four centimeter, so we will take it down. Four centimeter, write it down. When you get the measurement, write it down. Then plus, now we are going to get the measurement of the height in the bottom. And this is same, four centimeter, because we are measuring a shape that has four. Four, uh, four equal um, sides. Next is four centimeter, then plus two centimeter. So add two centimeter, then plus the next side is two centimeter. So what is the answer now? Four centimeter plus four centimeter plus two centimeter plus two centimeter. The answer would be do you have your answer now? Of course you have because you are all smart students. So the answer is 12 centimeter. Very good. Very easy, right? 12 centimeter is the perimeter of this object. Next, how about this one? Let's get the perimeter. How many sides are there? Yes, there are three sides. So it means to say that we are going to get the three sides. The first the second and the third sides. So you're going to get the perimeter. Now the first side is five centimeter. Second is, we are going to, yes, take it down first. Write five centimeter first before we measure the next. Plus, the next is four centimeter. So take down four centimeter. Now let's measure the last side. The last side is three centimeter. So take down three centimeter. So we have now five centimeter plus four centimeter plus three centimeter equals, what is the answer? Very good, very fast. The answer is 12 centimeter or 12 cm. Now, Please remember this one. This is a table of length. This is a table of length. 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter or 1 cm. So it means to say that if you have 10 millimeters, you have also 1 centimeter. So they, they are equal. 
10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter. Next, 100 centimeters. 100 centimeters length is equal to 1 meter or 1 m. So when you have 1 centimeters distance already, it means that in meter you have 1 meter already. Next, the last one. 1,000 meters, 1,000 meters. When you have 1,000 meters, it is equivalent to 1 kilometer. Remember that one. 1,000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer or 1 km. So those are the table of length. I have another question for you regarding the table of length. My question is, what is the equivalent of 50 mm or millimeters when convert to units of measurement? Again, what is the equivalent of 50 mm, so it's millimeters, when convert to units of measurement? Remember that mm is the least, the least or the shortest length in distance yeah so the answer is oh, before each answer i will give you choice a 5 centimeter or 5 cm or b 15 centimeter so when you have 50 mm the equivalent of it is yes you're correct it's letter a 5 cm or 5 centimeter question what is the equivalent of 200 centimeter when convert to units of measurement what is the equivalent of 200 centimeter when convert to unit of measurement what is so, so you need to think what is the next higher or biggest length after the units of centimeter so i'll give you another choices a 20 centimeter or b 2 meter is it still centimeter when you have 200 or it is meter a 20 centimeter or b 2 meter the answer is uh-huh it's b yes you're correct the answer is b two meter when you have 200 centimeter it is equivalent to two meters number eight what is the equivalent of three cm when convert to units of measurement what is the equivalent of three centimeter when convert to units of measurement the choices are A, 30 millimeter or 30 mm or B, 20 millimeter or 20 mm. What is next to cm? What is the unit next to cm higher than cm? Yes, it is mm. Then is it 30 or 20? Yes, you're correct. The answer is letter A, 30 mm. Now let's review scale. So the scale that we have is 1 cm equals 20 m. 1 cm equals 20 m. And we have already here the height of the hotel. The height of the hotel is 5 cm and then the width of the hotel is 3 cm. Now this is how we are going to measure the scale. First, we are going to take down the measured, then the actual. So we are going to measure it with the use of school ruler. First, the height, then the width. So the measured is, it is the centimeters record with the use of ruler. So when you use ruler in measuring the hotel, the the picture of the hotel because you cannot go outside and then measure the hotel because it's very high 
So you just need to measure the picture with the use of a ruler. The unit is centimeter. Then, because you cannot go out, so you just need to do something in it so that you can also get the actual size without going outside and then getting the actual size of it. So how? So first, let's get the height. The height which is 5 cm. So let's take down 5 cm. Next, the width. We have 3 cm. So what are we going to do that so that we can get the actual size of it? So we are going to... Yes, multiply. Very good. You remember our lesson. 5 cm, which is the length, times 20 meters. Because we are going to multiply it to 20 meters because we have a scale, which is 1 cm equals 20 meters. So if the exam is asking about the scale, so you just need to look at what is the equivalent. So now let's multiply this. 5 cm times 20 meters. The answer is very good. You're very fast. The answer is 1. 100 meter 100 meters next for the width 3 centimeters times 20 meters what is the answer yes very fast the answer is 60 meters 60 meters next how about this one we have a pagoda and the scale is 1 centimeter equals 10 meters and then the measured size of it is 5 centimeter and then the width is 3 cm. So remember that we have 1 cm equals 10 meters. The height is here. So the height is 5 cm. You can see it in the picture. The width is 3 cm. So let's multiply 5 cm times 10 meters. The answer is 50 meters. Next. 3 centimeters times 10 meters. We got, yes, 30 meters. Very easy, right? Lastly, let's review this one. So this is the activity from our book. Now let's review this. The measurement of the places, the distances of the places. Now let's locate school to hospital. Look at the dots. School going to the hospital. So the measured of school going to hospital is 3 cm. Next, how about the hospital going to supermarket? The measured is 2 cm. Next, post office to hospital. Post office to hospital is 5 cm. How about temple to post office? It's long. Temple to post office we have. 8 centimeters and last hospital to police station hospital to police station we have 8 centimeters 8 centimeters now again what are we going to do to to get the actual size yes remember that one we need to multiply the measure to the scale which is the 20 meters now let's multiply it 3 centimeters times 20 meters is equal to, yes, 60 meters. 60 meters. Very easy. Next, 2 centimeter times 20 meters. 2 centimeters times 20 meters is equal to, 40 meters. Very good. Next, 5 centimeter times 20 meters. 5 centimeters times 20 meters. The answer is 100 meters. Very good. Next, 8 centimeters times 20 meters. The answer is very fast. Very good. 160 meters. And lastly, we have the same. So we still have 1 meters. So this is the end of our mathematics 
class. So goodbye. See you again next time. And please do not forget to read your book. Please review our topics and be ready for the examination. Goodbye.